How up to date are your one lines? Um, that, that's a question that a lot of people wrestle with and, and they, they're really important when it comes to electrical safety. Uh, one of the reasons is NFPA 70E 120.1 for uh, verification of an electrically safe work condition says that you're supposed to check applicable up to date and that's the key thing up to date drawings and diagrams and, and identification tags. You also need to have a, an up to date one line or single line as some call them when you're performing an arc flash study, it, it basically it defines the roadmap of, of what your system looks like. So I ask this question at the arc flash forum, arcflashforum.com. Do you or, or your clients, if you happen to be a consultant, do you have drawings or diagrams that are up to date, thinking in terms of one lines and, and single lines? And the answers were kind of as expected. 25% of the people said yes. That's it. Only 25% of the people. 51% said that uh, no, they need to be updated. And you may be looking at this thinking, well, well wait a minute, Jim, 25 and 51, that's, that's not exactly 100%. What are we missing here? Well, I had a little fun with this. And I also asked the question, drawings? I'm not even sure they exist. That was 24% of the people. So the bottom line, in, in most cases, when you're performing an arc flash study or you're going to verify an electrically safe work condition, there's going to be some, some work that's going to need to be done to bring diagrams and, and drawings up to date. I know back in my past, uh, one of the places that I used to work, this was actually back in the late 1970s, they had drawings that dated all the way back to the early 1900s. It was a very, very old industrial facility. And, and that's the case. Sometimes if you happen to find a one-line drawing or you ask a client, do you have a one-line drawing? They'll say, oh, yeah, we do. And then you look at it and you find out, well, it's 20, 30 years old. Is that up to date? I really doubt it.